Martrell Stevens, 13 years old, shot and paralyzed eight years ago, relies on a wheelchair. In this terrible summer of violence against children, we wanted to talk to him to see this summer's shootings through his eyes. Two investigator Brad Edwards talks to him about what happened to him that night years ago and what his life is like now. Oh, can't leave that boy open. May 23rd, 2008. Oh, that passed. As I was putting my kids in the car, oh, yeah, we go. I heard shots fired. With a bullet entered in through the passenger side in Montreal, uh, so happened was sitting in the front seat. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we go. Missed his heart by one inch. When I was walking, I think my dreams were easier to accomplish. Eight years ago, a bullet not meant for Martrell Stevens ripped through his body. It has to be changed. He says that of this year. They want to go outside and play. That's what kids do, and they're getting killed because they go outside. It doesn't even make sense. 21 kids, ages 9 and under, shot year to date in 2016. More kids shot so far in 2016 than in all of 2015, 2014, 2013, and 12. Of the 88 children shot in the past five years, 70% occurred in these eight districts. Inglewood's seen the most. It's where Martrell Stevens was shot. You know the guy who did this. Yes. And he's still out there. Yes. Go to silence? Yep. No one's coming for it. Ooh. Ooh. You'd like a hoop here, right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wants a permanent hoop in his backyard. Oh, what's that do? One that won't get stolen. Mom has a different goal. It's to leave Chicago. The family is bonded by a bullet they can't undo. Oh, yeah. Martrell Stevens, yep. bound to a Ready? wheelchair. Ready? But not confined. I got shot. So my dreams when I was young, they took a detour until I had the courage to want to do what I want to do again. Brad Edwards. CBS 2 investigators. Chicago police confirmed there was an initial arrest in his shooting. Sources tell 2 investigator Brad Edwards the suspect was released after witnesses stopped cooperating with police.